what's in your man purse now? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm giving away one of these bags next week, by the way. I love this stuff. It's made out of camel leather. I can't make a camel sound because I don't know what camel sounds actually sound like. I know that camels fart a lot and they spit a lot, but I think they go, <laughs> Someone's going, someone's thinking I'm crazy right now. Uh, professional photographer's camera bag. Someone's going to be taking a trip. A lot of people think, well, the camera is in the camera bag. No, it's not. Um, I've always traveled with camera out of the camera bag because if you're a photographer, your camera is not in your bag. Your bag is for your camera stuff. My camera is always out somewhere where I can grab it quick so I can take a shot. Can you imagine, you know, photojournalists don't work that way. Um, street photographers don't work that way. Well, I'm going to go downtown, I'm going to take my camera gear, and they got their camera in the bag. It's like, no. Your camera bag should not be, you know, it takes up unnecessary space for stuff that should be in there. Your camera should be around your damn neck or somewhere handy. Your, a camera bag is not for your camera. And that lets you get away with carrying a smaller bag, too. This is why this is the perfect bag, at least in my idea. Why? Because professional photographers basically travel. I can get absolutely everything in here. It's a pretty small little package. What do I have in here? I got two lenses. I got a divider. Someone's going to love this bag when I give it away next week. I love the hell out of it. There's nothing like the smell of dead animals, too. Mm, dead camel. <laughs> There's some vegan out there is going to be hating on me for saying that. So what? If you don't piss people off, then you're not doing something right. Um, speed light. Don't travel anywhere without a speed light. So I got that in one side compartment. I got a lens here. And I got a Fuji lens here. And this doesn't matter if it's mirrorless or DSLR. So I've got two lenses and a speed light in the main compartment. What else do I have in here? Additional compact flash cards or SD cards. Um, four spare batteries. A battery charger. Uh, a compact flash, or a, in this case, uh, like if I'm using an Nikon D500, an XQD dongle, or an XQD uh, USB reader, which is very tiny and very compact. And uh, I've got a little cleaning kit. And uh, that's it. You spare batteries for your camera, and you spare batteries for your speed light. And uh, this is the perfect photojournalist bag, a street photographer's bag. Um, I'm actually not talking about this bag per se, this particular leather bag, but I'm talking about what it is that you really need. Uh, I notice a lot of people overpack. Uh, a lot of times if I know I'm going to be taking a little video or doing something uh, strange or I'm going to you know, need a little stand, is I'll fit a little Joby tripod, which is a little tiny thing. It actually fits right in here on the top. So I've got two lenses, including the lens that's on my camera that should already be around my damn neck. So that's three lenses total, and that's even really almost too much. But it's perfect for travel, you know. A lot of travel photographers, I gotta go on a trip. You know, if you can't nail it with the perfect uh, two sets of prime and one zoom, then you probably can't nail it at all. What if uh, I were going to take a trip over which, God, I wished I were going to Iceland for a month in July. That would be so awesome. You know, maybe I'll make it there before I die. I would be packing, if I were packing my Fuji, I'd be taking the 50 to 140. And I'd be taking uh, the uh, 18 to 135. Yes, yes indeed I would be. And uh, the other lens would probably be the 16 millimeter. Fuji. It, it might be two primes. Uh, it would be like the, uh, definitely the 50 to 140 f2.8 and um, possibly, possibly maybe, well, definitely the 16 millimeter, definitely the 50 to 140. And then the other one might be the 56 uh, f1.2, but definitely the 50 to 140 and definitely the 16 millimeter. But that's not important. I've got a couple zippered pouches, one outside here, here that I can stick uh, all my batteries in, my camera batteries and my speed light batteries. Also my wireless triggers. Now, <clears throat> for traveling now, I would not be using Pocket Wizards anymore. I'm going to be using flash cue triggers, and these things are the tits. They're really tiny. They're the size of dice cubes. I think everybody should buy a set of them. 
they're not that expensive. I'm giving two away in a uh, contest this week, which is actually, I'm going to announce the winners on Monday. But this is the perfect size camera bag for everything you need. All my batteries, all my wireless triggers, all my compact flash cards and SD cards, a charger for my camera. Um, if it's for a travel trip, a charger for my, uh, uh, my Eneloop batteries and a, uh, a dongle for my laptop so that I can uh, plug in my XQD cards. Uh, if you're using SD cards, you got a laptop with an SD card reader on it. You don't need that, obviously. I've even got enough room left over for a hard drive where uh, two hard drives, two slim hard drives, yeah, all on this little bag so that I can make dual backup data redundancies of uh, my pictures, my RAWs and my JPEGs. So this is really it. Um, you know, I know the need for having a large bag for like a serious expedition and stuff, but for most stuff, I mean, this is it. Well, a little man purse like this, this is, really holds everything. Two lenses, speed lights, all the batteries and compact flash cards you need, the chargers, the wireless triggers, a little cleaning kit for your camera so you can clean it out in the field. I've always got one of those in every one of my bags. And... Uh, Circular polarizer and infrared filter, infrared uh, filter for infrared photography, and that all fits in here, and not even bulging in here. So I've already got the two lenses and speed light and the cards and everything in here. So just something to consider. This basically is how travels uh, pros travel when they go on a, uh, on you know, depends on how intricate the shoot is. Obviously, you need a whole lot more crap for a wedding shoot. Okay, obviously, some wedding photographers actually do travel with just kits like this. It's like, listen. I do low-key photography, uh, kind of like uh, some of my photojournalism. Some people do work like that. It's like, look, and if that's what you want out of me, a wedding photographer, I'll take great pictures. I don't need that much gear. Um, need a little bit more than this, but not much. So, uh, battery issues are a problem. Like, yeah, I have a quantum pack for ultra, ultra fast uh, recycle time on your speed light. That's really important, actually. And in which case, you'd always take an additional speed light and a light stand and a reflector. <laughs> you always got a lot of a bunch of stuff for wedding photography. So anyway, that's it. What is in your travel bag? You probably overpack. I bet you do. And you probably make the mistake of sticking your camera in your camera bag. It's like, well, it's a camera bag. It's meant for your camera. Not really. That's not how professionals actually travel with their gear. You know, they might have, if they're bringing uh, dual uh, cameras, and, you know, a primary and a backup, they'll have their cameras in a case. They know they're not going to do any shooting until they get off the plane. Yeah, they'll have their cameras in a case. But uh, the photography bags for travel, their camera, camera is not taking up space in their camera bag. It's on them. Because you've got to be quick. If it's something you want to take a picture of, I'm not going to whip it out of the bag. It's going to be around my neck. It's going to be somewhere close. Anyway, just food for thought. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go drink some more uh, uh, concentrated caffeine, coffee. And uh, I'll catch you all tonight on live stream. Live stream with my ugly face. Okay? Catch you later. Bye!